Your hosts are Wadi Kanye and Someone Ready. We are glad that you take time every Sunday to learn with us from the Lord. Let us go before the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your protection and we ask you to be with us from the beginning to the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we are learning about love. Let us all spell the word love. L-O-V and E. Love. What is love? We hear people saying, I love you. God loves me. What is love? Today we'll be talking about love for one another. And God's love for us. Love. Whether it is a person loving another or God loving us. All I know is love is a wonderful thing. That is very true, Zawadi. I am excited to learn about love from teacher Becky. Wow! Praise God! I'm so excited to be at Kids for Christ. Thank you, Muredi, Zawadi, for having me today. Today we are going to talk about love. What does the Bible say about love? Our reading today is from the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. I'm reading from the International Children's Bible. Love the Lord your God. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. The second most important command is this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. These two commands are the most important commandments. What am I holding? I'm holding a red heart. When most people hear about love, they think of a red heart, red flowers, and a nice feeling. Today, I'm going to teach what love is according to the Bible. Most of you children do not know the meaning of love. Even adults, most of them do not know the meaning of love. The Bible tells us that love is God and God is love. So when you know God, you have love. In the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31, the Bible instructs us to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Children, what is the meaning of loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? To love God with all your heart is to love God all times. When things are good or bad, when we pass our exams or not, when the prayers we are praying are being answered or not, to love God with all your heart is to love God at all times. To love God with your soul. Soul is that part of you that nobody can see. It is the part that worships our God. Last week, teacher Amani taught us about the commandments of God. If we obey the commandments of God, we shall live a pure life. And to love God with your soul is to stay a life that is pure with no sin. Children, I'm thinking about the mind. What do we mean when we say loving God with our mind? The mind is where our thoughts come from. The mind is what we use even to read the word of God. When we read the word of God, we are able to know what is wrong and what is good. Knowing God helps us to do the right things. Loving God with our strength is the ability to do things for God. Some of you are good at singing, others are good at dancing, others 
at saying memory verses. All this is worship to God. So children, we should use all this in church or in our schools at home to worship our God. So children, in our lesson today, the first thing is to love God with everything that we have, with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is the first commandment. The second commandment is to love your neighbor. Children, who is your neighbor? How does one show love to their neighbor? For us to know how to love your neighbor, I'll tell you a story. One day, a man was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho. On his way, he was attacked by robbers. They beat him up, they removed him his clothes, and they left him halfway dead. So, a priest passed by. He looked at him. He did not help him. And he left. A Levite came. He did the same thing. He looked at the man in the pool of blood, full of wounds. He left. Then came a good Samaritan. He came and found this man in pain, in agony. He looked at this man and he had mercy on him. He treated him for the wounds and he took the man to a hotel and he promised to pay for all the bills of this man. So, children, the good Samaritan here showed love to a needy person. So, for us to love our neighbors, children, it is good for us to show love, mercy, pity to anyone around us who is in need. From this story, we learn that we should not be like the priests, the Levite, who felt that they were too clean to touch blood and did not help this man. Let us be like the good Samaritan who came in and helped this man who was in pain. So children today, we learn that we should be able to help anyone in need, even if they are not from our tribe, our country, our school, our church. Let us help anyone who is in need. We have come to the end of our lesson today. We have learned three things. Number one, we have learned what is love. Love is God and God is love. When you know God, you have love in your heart. The second thing we have learned how to love God. The Bible instructs us to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. The third thing that we have learned is to love our neighbors. Who is your neighbor? The person around you and is in need. Bye-bye. That was just wonderful. Didn't you love that lesson? Thank you, Teacher Becky. And the memory verse of the week will be recited by the little Delphi Ascende. My name is Delphi Ascende Rehani. I have a memory verse, John 13, 34, 35. I give you a new command, love each other as I have loved you. All people we know that you follow us if you love each other. That was Delphine Ascender reciting the memory verse of the week. Fellow children at home, memorize that verse the whole of this week. Talanta Kalisani. These two girls love singing for the Lord. These two girls are sisters. The Amukumbis. I am Lynn. I am Leslie. The Amukumbis. And I am older than you. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me.
children will say about love? My name is Miracle Moravi. Mm, I'll say that love is an emotion that people feel in their hearts. I can see something written here. I love you. Well, for me, love, I'm not really sure what it is, but I know I love my father, I love my mother, I love my brother, and I love God. Kids for Christ, signing out.